What's up guys, it's Rogue T here and welcome to another amazing video on the channel. So, for today, what seems to be the monthly Exosister deck profile is back. You guys absolutely adore these girls and I can't blame you. They are a very cool deck and very shiny with a lot of anti-meta potential. And as you can see from the title, this is the latest version of the deck post ban list. Thank you very much, Konami, for putting Pot of Prosperity to one. But it's okay, because we have adapted. The girls are back, the girls are more powerful than ever, and the girls are asking for you to subscribe if you aren't subscribed. This is their wishes, not mine. Make sure you do. Make sure that you keep them happy. So, as I said, like this video, comment down below what changes would you make. Obviously none, because this deck is perfect. And we're going to get straight into the deck profile. It is, of course, 40 cards because we want that consistency. Starting off with the main girl, we have Triple of the Exosystem Martha. Beautiful Starlight copy, as I had to do her justice. She is the best Exosister name in the whole deck. Well, in the main deck, I should say. The extra deck is very powerful, so maybe they could challenge Martha. But what does she do? Well, if you control no monsters or you only control an Xyz monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, you special summon one Exo Sister Elise from your deck. You cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate this effect, except for Exo Sister monsters. This is important because this does not say the rest of the turn, meaning that if you commit to any sort of summon before Martha, you just cannot use her. Which is slightly annoying considering they print very powerful effects and then put slap on the rest of the turn but in the exosister case it is the whole turn you cannot do some cool fusion summons synchro summons and then martha you have to commit to the exosisters from basically the whole turn the exosisters also have a unique shared effect apart from martha which has the same unique effect but better which is if a card is moved out of either graveyard you can special summon from your extra deck one Exo Sister Xyz monster utilizing this face up card you control as material, which basically means one card Xyz summons, which is pretty nice. The other Exo Sisters require your opponent to move a card. Martha does not. Martha does not care if you move the card or your opponent does. She's going to Xyz summon. Just keep in mind that for the other Exo Sisters, your opponent needs to do the action. For another three of, triple of our girl Elise. We have to play three Elise as we play three Martha. Martha specials Elise from the deck. So we always want to be resolving Martha. So we're going to be maxing out on three copies of each. Elise is a very good extender anyway. Just requiring you to control the Exosister monster, including herself, to just special summon her from the hand. And if you control Exosister Stella, you can gain 800 life points. This is why we cut Gagaga -Ga -Ga Cowboy. Because now with the new inclusion of the 7th Tachyon, which is the new power card that is coming to Exosisters, we can easily search out a copy of Elise or a copy of Stella, resolve their effect, gain 800 life points, pass turn, GG bro time. So we no longer need to play the cowboy for that. Again, I'm only going to mention this for the Elise. I'll redo the shared effect of the Exosisters, this time the proper one, unlike Martha, which is the juiced up version. If your opponent moves a card out of the graveyard, you can you you can Xyz, or you can special summon from the extra deck one Exorcist Xyz monster using this face up card you control as material. All Exorcist monsters share that effect, and that is why this deck is very very good against graveyard reliant decks, Tillaments, other decks like that. This is just a very good anti meta pick in formats where the graveyard is very very useful. So every format essentially. Continuing on. With the next Exo Sisters, we have the double Stella. I think Stella is very good. I don't think she's a 3 of. She doesn't do anything on her own, sadly. During the main phase, you can special summon an Exo Sister monster from your hand. Then, if you control Exo Sister Elise, you can gain 800 life points. This card with Elise is cracked. Why? Normal Stella, use effect. Usually, Imperm, Vela, any sort of negation. Cool. Special Elise anyway from hand, gain 800 life points. So... Stella is very nice. Obviously, if you don't have Elise, you kind of need Stella to resolve. So you can special summon maybe another Stella. Maybe you can summon a Sophia. Maybe a Martha if you've already used one that turn. She is very useful. And this is an Xyz summon deck, meaning you do need two level fours unless you get, you know, their secret Exo Sister effect. 
to summon from the extra deck for free. But if you're not summoning from the extra deck for free, you do need to commit to two level fours on the board. And Stella does help you do that. One Exosister Sophia. I still play one copy. Yes, we lost part of Prosperity, which was actually good in this scenario because Sophia draws you cards. The amount of times I've had P Prosperity in our hand and Sophia's draw me a card and then I can't use Prosp is annoying. Now there's a reduced chance that that's going to happen, which is cool. So if you don't know what she does is if you control an Exorcist the monster apart from herself, you just draw one card. Then if you have Exorcist Irene, you gain 800 life points. We don't play Exorcist Irene. She's not good. So we just play her for the draw effect and of course for the free special summon if our opponent moves anything out of the graveyards. Accompanying our Exo Sisters, we have their partners in crimes, the Spirit Engine. I really like the Spirit Engine. I think this engine is cracked. What does it do? Well, it only takes up normal summons, which allows you to essentially search Martha and then use Martha because you haven't committed to any specials that weren't Exo Sisters. And they're just very, very good recursion. So what do they do? Well, Aritama in particular, once per turn, during the end phase that it was normal summoned, it will return itself to the hand, which does come up actually. And then when this card is normal summoned or flip face up, you can add a spirit monster from your deck to your hand. So this card is as good as its add target, which is the Saki Tama, which is a fantastic card. What does he do? Well, once per turn during the end phase of this card is normal summoned, was normal summoned this turn, it can return itself as it is a spirit. If it's in your hand, you can reveal this card immediately after this card resolves. Normal summon a spirit monster from your hand. That includes itself, which is amazing. Meaning, Aritama had Sakitama, Sakitama normal itself from hand. Make your Exorcist XCs, search Martha, use Martha, full combo. Insane. One card full combo are, is absolutely amazing. For the spells, consistency, triple packs, pay eight, feel great in the form of Exorcister. Although it is a quick play, you can only use it during the main phase, which is annoying, but it allows you to add any Exorcista card, not just monsters. You can add spells and traps, and it also counts as an e-telly if you meet the right conditions of, for example, if you add Martha and you have an Elise in the graveyard, you can then special Martha because Martha mentions Elise in the card text. That's the easiest way I could describe it for you guys. For the next Exorcista spell that actually did get a lot better post 7th Tachyon release, is your Exosister Carp Devem. How do you, however you pronounce this card, please do leave it in the comments. I always ask, but no one is kind enough. I think, you know, after my 10th Exosister deck profile upload, someone could be kind enough to help me pronounce this card's name. Carpedivum is my best shot. It is a searchable prohibition, which is as cracked as it sounds. Why only one? Well, thank you. Thanks to Seventh Tachyon being able to search us any Exosister monster in our deck, we can now use our Exosister packs to search our Carp Div Divum? Carp Div the, the Continuous Spell. It can search us the Continuous Spell. And the Continuous Spell is a prohibition whenever we XC summon. And this means that we can call Nabiru on third summon, which is our Exosister. XCs and completely blank its effects for the rest of the turn, which is fantastic. This, in combination with Dimension Shifter, we play around every hand trap in the game. Every single one, pretty much. Maybe apart from Gamma, but it's at one. So, amazing. Shifter switches off stuff like Droll, Vela, Ogre, and then this switches off the rest that would be a problem, which is fantastic. For the traps, I've been advocating one of each for a while one of each is still fine vadis returnia vadis specials two from the deck that mention each other in text by paying 800 life points you are exo sister locked big whoop you're going to be doing this in response to opponent moving something from the grave which is perfectly fine because then you're going to trigger special summon two xc's from your extra deck which is fantastic they get shuffled in the end phase so make sure that you do chain it to a graveyard effect if not you're going to lose them and our exo sister returnia if all monsters you control are Exo Sisters, which they will pretty much always be, pay 800 life points, target one card opponent controls or in their graveyard, banish it, then apply one of the following effects immediately after this effect resolves. You can Exo, you can Exe summon an Exo Sister Exe's monster. That does require two level fours. Or if you have Exe summon this turn, you can banish one card your opponent controls non-targeting, which is fantastic. So... That is very useful. You may think, yo, you need to kind of rely on your Exo Sisters being able to actually summon during your opponent's turn. That is very easy with the main boss monster, 
which I will get to when we get to the extra deck. So don't you worry about that. This effect always pretty much goes off, which is fantastic. Let's go on to the hand traps. It's 20 cards, by the way, the Exorcist package is very versatile. Hand traps, main reason you play this deck, triple D shifter. So many decks just automatically lose to this card, and the fact that you can play it because, yes, you care about the graveyard, but why not just blanket it both? Blanket it for both players, and you don't have anything that activates in the graveyard, which is fantastic. So D shifter is just absolutely free. Why not? Why not auto win games? Ash, not only is Ash great, it plays with Shifter. You can just, it doesn't say send to the grave, it just says discard. You can use this on the Shifter. Same reasoning for the Ghost Mourners and not Effect Veilers. Effect Veilers need to go to the grave. Mourners don't. Effect Veiler, in my opinion, is a slightly better card. But we don't want any counter synergy here with our Shifter. So we play the Mourner. And, of course, the Triple Infinite Impermanence, again, works. Under Shifter, isn't once per turn. And is very good drawing going second. Doesn't trigger talents. Doesn't trigger thrust. It is arguably the best hand trap that isn't a floodgate like the Malchamis or Shifter. Imperm is just fantastic. Sort of like Dominus Purge as well. Why are we playing Dominus Purge? Because Aritama is dark. If, if Aritama wasn't dark, Dominus Purge would be in here in a heartbeat. I don't want to pick between using a hand trap that is very, very good and switching off my main one card playmaker. So it, as sad as it is, you can't play Dominus Purge. Or you can, but then you can't resolve your Aratama. Spells, flex spots, triple cross out designator. Say no to hand traps because the entire deck does so already with Shifter and Carpe Divin. The continuous. You switch off all hand traps. Why not? Hit more. Cross out is very good on Ash. That hit, you know, Martha effect they use Ash is very, very hurtful for the deck. So why not have cross out? That reasoning, why not have call by? Absolutely amazing card. Can switch off the Malchamis, which will be coming out soon. Well, we have one, but we have the good one coming out in Rage of the Abyss. Play call by. Be good and draw it and just say no. Thank you very much. I will not be letting you draw cards one pot of prosperity here it is here's the culprit card it is at one we were playing three which was great for consistency but it's okay we've adapted we're still very very consistent because we're playing triple of the seventh tachyon this is brand new card from the rogue tier factory super secret starlight rare the sss i've discussed in other videos that this is the sss rarity also known as printed and cut into a Yu-Gi-Oh card shape what does it do? Well, you reveal a number of XCs monster from your extra deck between the numbers of 101 and 107, and you add a monster from your deck to the hand with the same type and or attribute and the same level as rank. And then you put a card from the top of your deck to the bottom, which is useful for if you draw multiple Elises and you need to put some back in the deck, or if you draw one of those traps that you want to be adding instead. Seven Tachyon, fantastic card, locks you into XC summoning in an XCs oriented deck, Big whoop. Cards, fantastic. Play three, and you won't notice that Pot of Prosperity is at one. Let's now move on to the extra deck. Extra deck time, baby. So, starting off with the non XCs. I know this is an XCs deck, but we need to have something to do in case we get Dimensional Barriered and we haven't used Martha. Artemis into SP Little Knight. Fantastic combo. SP Little Knight just got hit with the reprints from the Megaton, so it is cheaper. Not cheap, mind you. Cheaper being the keyword. Artemis is very cheap, though. Okay. Double Magnifica. Hit with a reprint recently. These are the Starlights reprinted in quarter century. I ate a big one there because the value absolutely tanked, but that's okay because more people can play Exorcisters now. £20 a copy for the Ultras was just not reasonable. Now, thanks to the reprint, it is much more reasonable. This is the big bad boss monster. Takes two rank four Xyz Exosister monsters to make. Must be XC summoned, meaning you can't cheat this out. They thought about that. This card makes two attacks during each battle phase, meaning itself does 5,600 damage, which is fantastic. Detaches a material from this card. On a quick effect, you banish one card your opponent controls. And when your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can return an Xyz monster you own that was attached to this card to your extra deck and then special summon it out using this card as material. Both of those are quick effects. 
Top tip, when your opponent activates anything and you want to banish a card on the field, chain the second effect to tag out and then chain the quick effect banish. That's just a quick way of getting both effects in the same chain link, which is fantastic. For probably the most important, not the best, but the most important, we have triple Exosystem Mikalis, two level four monsters, kind of be destroyed by battle with a monster special summon from the graveyard. What does it do? The turn in the summon is a quick effect banish. It does target though, but that's still good if we make it during the opponent's turn. And you can detach a material from this card, add one Exosystem spell trap from your deck to your hand. Lovely rotor. Fantastic card. I played at three. It comes up a lot in the grand game. Double Exosister Caspitel. Cannot be destroyed by battle with special summon from the graveyard. The turn it is summoned. Neither player can special summon monsters from the graveyard for the rest of the turn. So just a big nope from the grave, which is fantastic. Detach one material from this card. Add a Exorcist monster from your deck to the hand. Another rotor. Helps with consistency. It's very, very good. One Exorcist of Jabreen. Cannot be destroyed by the activated effects of Monster Special Summon from the graveyard. So this isn't battle, this is effects. Slightly different. If you control this card that was Exi Summoned this turn by using an Exorcist of Monsters Material Quick Effect, target one effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effects. So it's an imperm. Detach one material from this card. For the rest of the turn, all Exi's monsters you control will gain 800 attack. That is very useful. Jabreen effect into Magnifica is game. Remember, Magnifica attacks twice, and Jabreen would be big enough to hit for the remainder, which is lovely. Sophiel, again, cannot be destroyed by the activated effects of monsters that were special summoned from the graveyard. The turn in is actually summoned. Neither player can activate card effects from the grave. Detach one card from this one material from this card, target one monster opponent controls, return it to the hand. Sadly, that is not a quick effect, but it is an Abyss Dweller, which is great. One Zeus, this is an Xyz deck. Why not play Zeus? Capitalize. One Sky Crisis, helps in a pinch. One Burguska. Sometimes they hand trap you enough where you can only make one Xyz. And sometimes Burguska just floodgates them enough so that you can play again. Fantastic. And the seven Tachyon target, number 104. You can play number 102 as well, as number 104 is now very expensive. And I did say to buy this card a couple of months ago, but you can play number 102. Its effect doesn't really matter. It's just a good target for the 7th Tachyon, allowing you to add any Exosister from your deck to your hand. So that is it for the Exosister updated deck profile. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Smash it for your girls. And I'll see you all in the next video. It's time to... Let's go!